All right, what's up, YouTube? I just, uh, I was, you know, busy because I don't spend all day every day on YouTube like some people do. I'm not going to say any names. <coughs> um, but, uh, I just read this, this comment by, uh, Match My Mix. She said, uh, Jesus Christ always got something to say. You know what I mean? And it was to, uh, it was had nothing to do with him. It was something that he always has something to say. That's she, she pointed that out. She sees it. You know what I mean? You see, you see Ed. She, people see this. You always have something to say. Why is that, Ed? So I told her. I said because deep down he just wants to be me. Why else would someone spend so much time following everybody or everything somebody does? Every channel I go to on YouTube, every comment I make, everything in my personal life. It's flattering, I guess, but it's also extremely obsessive and creepy. Who has the time or the desire to spend so much of their life devoted to a person that they claim everyone can't stand? I mean, I, I couldn't even have my own separate friends in school because my brother failed seventh grade. So he was sat behind me in homeroom every day, you know, but he felt the need to try to put me down in the presence of my friends any chance he could to make himself feel special. Special Ed. <laughs> Seriously, though, he would he would talk about me to my classmates and try to make them laugh by using his little brother as the butt of the joke, his immature jokes. But as immature as middle schoolers can be, they often laughed at the the older kids' stupid jokes. But fast forward twenty five years, and I don't think his social mentality has ever progressed past the seventh grade level. So I guess some people just never grow up. Just like some things will never change. My brother will always be special ed. Thanks to me. So if the only positive thing I ever do is to make a special person like Ed feel better about their own life, then my job is done here. To be good or be good at it. <laughs>